Hello, welcome to Earth Engine Tutorial 109. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create rectangular coordinate grids using uh, Google Search Engine and uh, GMAP just with one line of code. First, let's go to the website to download the notebook example, gmap.org, and then click notebooks. I scroll down to find 109 and upper right corner, click the download button to download this one to your computer. Uh, click save and then uh, from there, you can open your uh, terminal or Anaconda prompt and then Conda activate Geo and then just Jupyter Lab. Oop. Hit enter. Uh, it's open Jupyter Notebook uh, within your browser. And uh, first, let me show you what the uh, result look like, right? So if you scroll down to the bottom, this one shows you a preview of the data uh, of the result. So we're going to create. Uh, rectangular grid, uh, coordinate grid. Uh, it can be just the latitude or just for the longitude, or you can uh, do that for both. And so this can be useful uh, sometimes if you just want to show the coordinate grids overlay on top of other data set. Uh, you can do that uh, very easy just with one line code. And it can also be useful sometimes if you're trying to calculate uh, some kind of zonal statistics by log uh, latitude or by longitude. They say you want to calculate, they say, for example, the temperature variation by latitude, right? So you're going to calculate the temperature uh, around the tropical area and uh, you can go up by um, latitude. So, for example, every 10 degree, uh, every 10 uh, degree uh, latitude all the way to the North Pole or to the South Pole, right? Or you can calculate um, variation uh, along the latitude. So you might have seen some of those uh, in some uh, papers published in the journals, but uh, here I'm going to show you actually how to create that and you can use that as an input data to other uh, analysis. So let's go back to uh, the example, double click to open the novel example. So um, first we're going to import the library and then we're going to create uh, an interactive map, right? So once we have the map, uh, then we can talk about how to create uh, the grid. So uh, I'm going to show you three examples. The first one is just by latitude. So you're going to see uh, rectangular um, rectangles along the latitude. So this function has a couple parameters and you can, the first one is step for basically, uh, let me show, maybe show you the result first and you will understand what I'm talking about, just like this, right? So this is so-called uh, latitude grid. So you call it, are you gonna create uh, polygons or rectangles um, by latitude, right? So if, let's say you want to create um, from the tropical, from zero degree, latitude and then way up to the north and then also way down to the south and every they say every five degree you want to create one polygon one rectangle and then so you'll be from zero latitude zero degree to latitude of uh north like five degree and then five to ten ten to fifteen something like that you can also specify the west and also the east so basically the west boundary and also the east boundary uh, you can also specify the uh, north and the south, basically the um, the threshold. So negative 55 and also negative 90. You can uh, 85. You can all go all the way to 90, but uh, it's going to uh, make your map look pretty um, elongated. So you want to um, keep it at the maximum at 85, and also north 85, south also uh, negative uh, 85. So this is how you can create. Uh, you can use the identifier. So if you click the inspector and then click here, it's going to show you, for example, uh, north, south, right? So it may be, let me click this one, right? So this is basically this one, this line here where my cursor is, this one is the um, zero degree latitude, right? And this one is five, 10, 15, 20, 25, right? So all the way up, uh, every five degree, right? So also on the left side, on the right side. Uh, you're welcome to change this one. So they say I just want to create um, neg negative 100 all the way to uh, positive 100, right? Uh, you can also just create the negative. So I just wanted to do it for maybe uh, 65, for example, right? Uh, we can do that as well. So and just shift enter, shift enter, shift enter. So take a look. Now we have just this one. It doesn't cover the entire globe because we have. Uh, restricted the latitude to negative 100 all the way to positive 100 and also the latitude degrees right this is how we can create uh, the latitude grid using 
uh, just one night call so step west east south and north uh, just five parameters uh, if you don't specify it's going to just use the default one so uh, it's going to create a lot more uh, polygon so similarly oh the, the first uh, because once you create this uh, data set it's a earth engine vector data so uh, feature collection so you can convert the feature collection to uh, if you just want to see the attribute table you can convert it to a uh, panda data frame right so uh, panda data frame is e to df and then just passing the uh, feature collection and just shift enter take a look right so in this case we we have 25 or uh, 26 right so basically uh 13 uh, rectangles to the north 13 to a uh, certain rectangle uh to the south and it's going to show you for example for east polygon uh this is you can think about just like the attribute table right so just like you open the vector data in qgs in arcgis and this one shows you the actual table and within there it has four columns uh east north west and south so if you want that uh you want to see the table you can you can do that uh, by converting to df next i'm going to show you how to create a longitude grid right so let uh latitude grid is horizontal so longitude grid is going to be vertical and similarly similarly let me show you the example right so this is what it looks like um because for the uh, longitude uh, it's going to evenly distribute it uh, for latitude it's different so latitude because uh the further you away uh from the topic uh the greater the distance it looks like but in reality it's not because this is basically just the uh the projection uh issue and now you take a look right it's just every five degree we create um a rectangle and from the east to the west and also the north and south so similarly if you can just change to 100 100 and then maybe uh 55 for example and then shift enter shift enter so it's just going to see a lot smaller one right it's just covering a smaller area so this is how we can create a latitude degree the last example is a rectangular so basically you create uh basically horizontal and both vertical uh, just like you overlay on uh, the two grids together and then so in this case you have the rectangular uh, grid and so this one here is called leg long grid and you have two a uh, six parameters so the uh, latitude step a uh, longitude step and also uh, the the reason basically the west and the east the south and the north so similarly take a look uh, in this case we have something like this uh, pretty nice right just one line of code and you can zoom in you can zoom out similarly click the inspector and then click on the map you should be able to see the attribute table uh, if you want and you can also export the data uh, it's up to you it doesn't have to be rectangular so in this case we have 10 degree north and 10 degree south you can you can change they don't have to be the same so i can change for example for the longitude to maybe 20 degree and in this case you're going to have a rectangular basically a, a little bit wider in the horizontal dimension a little narrower uh, in the vertical right take a look right so now you see this one uh the rectangular right it's because it's 20 degree um horizontal and 10 degree vertical so you see something like this it can be a little bit more dramatic i can have 30 and basically uh, it's going to be three to one right so now you see something like this and this is how you can create a rectangular week a grid you can use this as an input data set to other functions for analysis for example journal statistics they say you want to calculate journal statistics of each uh coordinate grid and see for example what's the average temperature what's the average elevation uh, elevation what's the um dominant length cover for example and you can use that to calculate find the result for each polygon each rectangle and they can do uh, some analysis if you want okay so that's all for this video i hope to see you in the next one take care bye bye